happy Memorial Day weekend, everyone. Nika here from Back to My Roots, and I just wanted to give you a tour of what's growing on in the greenhouse. Okay, before we get started, what I would like to do is to take a moment to give um, a shout out of appreciation. I'm sorry, guys, I got a lozenge. To all of our veterans, past, present, or future, and to your families, I really, truly appreciate all the things that you have done for us and all the sacrifices you have made for us and for my freedoms and for me to have a greenhouse such as this. So this is what we got growing on. All right, let's turn around. Um, this right here is an example of my problem. It's about 20 tomatoes that I've got um, in the greenhouse here. The weather is, I know, it's um, it's actually a lot of wind. I'm not sure if you can see that tree right here. See how that's sweet, uh, just swaying back and forth? It's a lot of wind going on. Can't even hear it, feel it, or know that it's going on in this greenhouse. That's how awesome it is. Okay, so right here is peppers. Mm-hmm, equal amount, about 20. Um... These are my basils. If you see these little cups on this side, this is all basil. I had a little issue with the, uh, what do you call that? The uh, peat pellets, guys. I don't think peat pellets are for me. Um, they were all compact. They were stifled. They weren't growing as well as they should have been. And so I went in and risked it and tore all their roots up and just transplanted it into um, the cup. So let's just see how that, that's going to go. I did that maybe uh, two days ago and so far nothing has died so you know crossing my fingers right here I think I have some tiger melon and some musk melon I've got my strawberries I've got flowers that needs to be transplanted um, for the Zaza Zoo effect in front of the house so they're going strong we got more basil and spices um, except for this I forgot what this is that's a golden zucchini that we got there and um, I think these are uh, sunflowers. <laughs> More zucchini, uh, dill, onions. I think those are zinnias, sage, basic spices. Again, and over here we start running into our cucumbers. Up top, tomatoes and peppers. Like I said, I got a problem. I got a problem. And then we have tomatoes, peppers, and... Uh, marigolds. There are my marigolds. We got cucumbers here. Let me show you where we're at. Yeah, we did the up top there. Just random storage and things that I need or I feel like I need. Tomatoes that are having some issues. I think they've got sun scald. They're trying to bounce back but I'm babying these suckers to see if I can get them to, to um, behave like their cousins and brothers and sisters back there. More basil that I transplanted from the peat pots and cucumbers marigolds underneath it's just storage guys nothing but storage that we got going on underneath we got carrots this contained radishes they did nothing but bolted on me so I don't know if I'm not going to be able to do radishes at all lettuce that we have harvested twice already we're going for a third more tomatoes yeah, <laughs> told you I got a problem. Here we've got some basil. Um, no idea what this is because I saw a seed and I had to see if it would grow. Uh, we've got, uh, what's this? Ground cherries, Swiss chard, onions that really need to be taken out of here and put into the garden. Um, I think these are like small little baby sunflowers. And more uh, cold weather crops like pak choy, Swiss chard, uh, kale, things of that nature. Um, marigold, something or another, lettuces, and that's pretty much it. Now, um, just a quick review on the, I think it's called Polarum Twin Wall Polycarbonate 8x6x4 Greenhouse, guys. I, if you haven't done or gotten or done, let me see, let's try this again. If you haven't uh, done your research yet 
or are looking into purchasing a greenhouse and you're thinking about the Harbor Freight, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. Look for the Paul Room. Um, th this is the Mythos, I think, series. But try them out and see if you can uh, get them in a budgeted, uh, s something that will fit your budget. Because the way this is made is that these panels slide into grooves um, that are on each side of the frame here. Kind of like this, for example. See that? This can fit in and it slides up and down. Let's see if I can show you how it slides up and down these grooves. You basically do the same thing. You put the fa uh, panels in, it slides into these grooves, and they lock. I put some, uh, let me see if I can find it. Like, yeah, I put some um, sealant tape on the tops and on the bottoms to prevent water from coming in and to kind of make it a little more snug fit. And these things are in are in there there no no there's no wind that's going to come in of course i mean gale force wind of course me you know rip this thing to shreds but uh there's nothing you know that's going to come in and take this apart and that's not guaranteed with the harbor freight in this area so said a few neighbors that i spoke to and they came and they took a look at this one and was extremely impressed now i'm going to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> we uh, were going to build it three feet in that direction. Forgive the cardboard. I'm doing a project with that. Three feet in that direction. It is so flat that it seems like it was flattened out by humans. Um, but I changed my mind and I moved it closer to the spot that we are in. It wasn't so flat and we really didn't pay attention to the instructions like we should. I blame my husband for that. I'm not afraid to say it. Um... But we were still able to get this sturdy and leveled and um, working. And here's proof. Uh, this didn't level out well. So there's a screw that needs to fit there. A screw missing there on both ends. Um, <laughs> certain other things and imperfections that I could point out here. Even with the imperfections, guys... For newbies, this thing is holding up like a champ. I uh, put cedar chips down here. I didn't put a membrane or a weed blocker anywhere so you can see grass growing up. But it's working out well. I like the look of it. It's fine. I like working on it and standing on it. That's fine. Uh, but this is it. This is the greenhouse. It's, I love it. Um, except for... These things uh, are only provided by the company that makes it. And by the way, the information for this greenhouse I will put below. Um, the company that makes it, these things are like a, over a dollar a piece. Which, I'm kind of really upset about that. Because it's just plastic, right? And it slides in, and it locks. It's not going anywhere. Alright, and I'll step out and around for you. Now you can hear the wind. This is all we got. Just give you a side view. Here's what's going on behind. And, um, ground squirrel tunnels right there and right there that's what I was going to put the bricks down to stop them from digging but you know what's the point there you go and just right around the corner is the garden so let's go back in out of this wind ta-da no wind, no shakes, no nothing. So anyway, again, happy Memorial Day weekend to everyone. See you. Hi, Mr. Roots. <laughs> the co-host is busy. Hi, co-host. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. All right.
until we meet again, YouTube, I want you to stay well in mind, body, and in soul. And enjoy your day. Bye.